I'm back, and I'm going to kind of talk about um, some new rumors regarding James Gunn's Suicide Squad. And, well, I mean, not really rumors, more credible reports as to who to expect on his Suicide Squad team and some elements of the actual story um, that he will be going for in terms of the actual team. So there were some reports that James Gunn is starting to actually create his team um, for the Suicide Squad movie, which will be coming out in 2021. And so in terms of that, I am going to kind of talk about the new members of his team, who they are, and kind of what they do. So the first person on the, his team who's a new member is going to be the Rat Catcher. Um, so the Rat Catcher. Now, this is someone I had to look up, as um, there would be another person who I also had to look up, because I wasn't sure who this was. And so, he was once employed as an actual rat catcher in Gotham City, and soon started to use his strange ability, an affinity with the ability to control uh, rats, and to stage a very a variety of crimes. And his ability is just mainly have is the control of of sewer rats and he can manipulate various things with cyanide gases he also has a gas gun um so that's him the next character is king shark now king shark is someone who we of course many of us know um he's quite a popular character in terms of dc like in terms of the more b-list dc villains and he's basically just a human shark. Um, if you watch The Flash, you'd know who he is too because he's been on there recently and in the past, and he's quite a popular character in terms of that. Um, and the next character would be Polka Dot Man. Now, Polka Dot Man is someone who we kind of know a little bit about from the Lego Batman movie where he also made a, um appearance. And he can basically turn the polka dots that are on his costume into a variety of weapons. Uh, the polka dot man, also known as Mr. Polka Dot, was a minor supervillain who fought Batman and Robin. Uh, he became known for committing grandiose crimes revolving around the bizarre theme of polka dots. Um, and of course, the polka dots did conceal a variety of weapons, similar to the penguins umbrellas in a sense. Um, I know it's a bad example, but it's kind of like the closest thing I could think of. And the final character who would be new is the Peacemaker. Now, this is another character I had to look up because I wasn't exactly sure who this was. Um, so the Peacemaker, his name, his real name is Christopher Smith, and he's a peace agent. His motives are driven by an extremist form of pacifism, pas anyways, which makes him love peace so much he'd kill for it, which is kind of ironic. Um, and so... He doesn't really have any weapons, like, sorry, any um, powers, but he does have weapons, and he's kind of, I want to say, like, a dead, sh like, a uh, death stroke, um, because he basically has hand-to-hand -hand combat and firearms and, you know, the usual. So, those are the new members. Now, of course, we also have the reports of the old members uh, Deadshot and Harley Quinn, except Deadshot would be, be portrayed by Idris Elba, and Harley Quinn, of course, with Margot Robbie returning. So, I mean, honestly, I would be perfectly good with this. Um, it actually seems like something I'd be really, I'm really interested to see what they do with this. Um, a lot of these characters are much more obscure, and I kind of want to see what they do with this. Um, in terms of the story details, they said they would be going potentially to the Middle East. Um, and deal with something there, which is good, because guess what? The Suicide Squad generally are international. It would also move them away from, you know, uh, the disaster that was the first movie for a lot of people. And so, I mean, I'm honestly excited to see what James Gunn's got in mind. Let me know how excited you are for this movie. Um, and don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share your thoughts. And of course, see you next time. Bye.